two rides in two days back to back feeling extremely blessed today although a little tired it's been windy lately and it takes a lot out of you I'm learning uh, never ridden on the highway uh, before so it's a new experience to me and and it uh, the wind never even occurred to me that <laughs> that would be an issue, but it cert it most certainly is. Not nearly as windy today as it was yesterday, so that that's good. That over there on the right is the Boise River, and we're in we're in the canyon right now, uh, about to climb up out of the canyon up on top of the reservoir here in just a minute. You see some bikers on the right and some people walking. That over on the other side of the retainer wall, there, there's a what we call it. It's called the green belt, but it's just a path for biking or running or hiking or whatever you want to do over there. And this is uh, a ride today up to Idaho City, and it is a beautiful ride on Highway 21. Uh, you see a lot of motorcycles up and down this highway on, on nice days, so it's it's a popular route because you get into the trees very quickly. Within 15-20 minutes or so you can be in the trees uh, and along the river and it's just a gorgeous ride. So um, you will, you, you'll get to see that here in, in just a minute. So. Uh, One uh, concern I had today was the clouds. They don't look so bad right now, but before coming into the canyon, I could see up over the mountains there were some pretty dark ones. So uh, didn't wasn't looking to get rained on today. So I figured I'd just go until I hit a drop of rain and then turn around and and come back. So uh, we'll uh, we'll see what happens though. This uh, this is the bottom of the the dam here. The highway kind of wraps around, and there's a little horseshoe-shaped um, reservoir down in here called Sand Point. And it's a just a public park. There's a fountain out there and sandy beach. Kind of a fun place to hang and play for the day. Nobody there now though. It's still a little bit chilly yet. It's still still mid-May. It's not quite time for the sunscreen and and uh, flip-flops just yet. Probably about 70 degrees today side of the reservoir says keep your forests green over there which is ironic because there's no forests really <laughs> around the reservoir yeah. another 15 miles to we'll get to the forest so now we're up on top of the reservoir here there it is a little desolate out here high mountain desert sagebrush But it's beautiful nonetheless. So we made it to the back side of the reservoir here. Some crazy bikers riding uphill. And we're about to go over the bridge. And then we'll start getting into the trees a bit. You can kind of see some of the darker clouds back in there that we're headed towards. This bridge I think is about 115 feet from the water surface depending. That's in the summertime so depending on how high the reservoir is of course. 
the cliff over to the left I've jumped off of before. Not from the top, but there's a spot where you can kind of climb down about halfway and, and jump. Never do that again. I found that I do not enjoy cliff jumping. <laughs> rather be on a motorcycle. The reservoir has moved to our left side now. So here I decided to pull over for a guy who apparently had an appointment somewhere on a Sunday. Because I was probably doing 10 over the speed limit and he was still just right on me. No respect for motorcyclists. Kind of a frustrating thing. Anyhow, they, you yeah, know, if no reason to get frustrated about it, just, I just let them buy. Nothing you could do about it. They win every time, and I'm okay with that. So now we're getting down into the trees. This is where the starts to cool off a little bit, and the ride gets really beautiful right along the right along the river here clouds are getting worse up there you can see as we get closer Starting to get a little more gloomy now, the further we get back in here. But it was just—it's just nice and cool and beautiful. After I let that uh, that guy that was in a hurry by, pretty much had the road to myself, which is nice because then you don't feel like you're in a hurry. <laughs> or holding somebody up. I don't know why that bothers me. I hate feeling like I'm holding somebody up. I just let them by.
So here I pull over because the first drop hit me in the visor. First drop of rain. So um, I set the GPS for home and flipped it around. I really wanted to make it all the way to Idaho City, but close enough. We're probably about nine miles from Idaho City right now. I think the GPS said like 9.7 or something like that. So uh, close enough to call it good. Um, no interest in riding in the rain plus you have to pull all of the electronics off and put them in the bag and it's just a pain just as soon turn around and head for home
just when you think you're in the clear, I have no idea where this rain's even coming from. It starts raining on me. Almost home. Well, 10 minutes. Pretty close. <laughs> Hey, it happens. At least it was just a sprinkle. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy these videos, click the like. Subscribe if you want to see more. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one.